Hey everyone, it's Ben. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel today. We are going to look at a few new offerings for 2017 from Leatherman. One I really like and one not so much. Coming up right now on Living Survival. Let's first take a look at the one that I really like. This is the Skeletool KB. Looks very similar to a Skeletool multi-tool with the uh, skeletonizing of the blade there. Sort of the shape of the handle here. It is a frame lock. I guess you could call it a liner lock. It is sort of a just a spring uh, lock screwed in there. So I guess maybe you could call it more of a liner lock, but it does lock up really nicely. You can see it's all the way to the halfway point there. Is no play left to right, is no play top to bottom. And this knife is just fun. It's just a fun knife. It's a, it's a small knife, so it fits in your hand really well. Great for EDC, great for a kit. Great for just keeping in the vehicle, great for keeping in the toolbox. There's so many different options with this knife and it's just very straightforward. Lock up, as I said, is just rock solid. You can just hear it there when it locks up. The knife itself is very lightweight, one, one and a half ounces or 1.5 ounces, a little bit less than one and a half ounces. And you can see it's just pretty basic here and I, and I like that. I really like the fact that it's small. It works well, locks up, and it's scalpel, scalpel sharp. If you've ever had a Leatherman multi-tool with the 420HC, Leatherman does it pretty well. You know, it's not going to hold up to a super tip test or anything, and, you know, you wouldn't want to attack, uh, you know, really tough things with this. You, you run the risk of chipping that blade, but it's very easy to maintain and perfect for EDC tasks. And, I mean, it's just scalpel, scalpel sharp. It just catches right on my skin there. Sometimes you find yourself catching your finger because it's so small sometimes it'll grab your finger there if you're playing with it and shutting it too quickly but you get used to it rather quickly the skeletal kb is right hand only but uh, over the years even though i'm a lefty i've gotten quite used to playing with knives with my right hand so you can see again there skeletonized frame here and then it's got a a nice pocket clip to it nice uh you know long pocket clip it rides pretty deep in the pocket and then you also have a bottle cap opener there which is nice so i mean it's a cool little cool just little everyday edc type tool and it's not going to cost you as much as say a small spider co for example this one runs about you see i just just about clipped my finger there uh, this one runs about 25 dollars, so you can get the kb model which is this one with the plain edge and they also make a serrated edge and they make the serrated edge model in different colors if you're looking for a different color. The KB measures 3.45 inches closed and then you have a 2.6 inch blade. So again, very functional because it's mostly just blade. Centering is off a little bit. That's to be expected because most frame locks uh, and liner locks do tend to push the blade over a little bit. I haven't messed with it at all. It operates just fine, doesn't rub on anything. We can take a closer look here at the skeletonized handles. Now, probably if you were to carry this in your pocket with some keys, it would get scratched up pretty quickly. But again, that might uh, add to its appeal. I know that adds to the appeal for me when I you know, know that I got a lot of use out of something. The blade, awesome blade in uh, in my opinion here, you sort of got a uh, satin finish up top with more of a brushed finish down here. You can see the grind marks in there. And uh, again, just scalpel, scalpel sharp, very easy to maintain. It's got the sharpening nick there. So again, just a nice all around, small, easy to carry, lightweight, and very functional pocket knife. I could see this being a great addition, as I said, to any kit a great addition to a camping uh, or a car kit loadout great for backpackers because it is so light again 1.5 ounces so you know super super light i know a lot of people carry the small spider coes but i think this is even a little bit lighter than those and you actually get a decent blade you know you get the 2.6 inch blade which is longer than a lot of the offerings on other lightweight blades so again i think it has a lot to offer for 25 dollars and again, if you like the plain edge, it comes in black. And if you want a different color on the handle here, you're going to have to go with the serrated version. So this is the KB. The serrated version is the KBX. So let's take a look at another offering from Leatherman. This is the Juice B2. Now, if you're familiar with their Juice series, this, for example, is the Juice S2. You can see that it's pretty much just half of the handle of one of these juice tools. So I thought that was actually pretty cool when I saw these at SHOT Show. However, the pairing that they put in these, I'm not so highly excited about. 
So width wise, you can see here that the B2 anyway is a little bit thinner than the S2. This would be just a great, just standalone pocket knife, sort of like, you know, just a little scout carry knife or a, a knife that scouts would carry. Uh, again, two blades in here. You've got your plain edge blade and then you've got a uh, serrated blade in here. And that's sort of what I'm not so highly excited about. I would have loved to see a saw on this side, maybe even a pair of scissors, or honestly, just the knife itself. If they just kept it to that one blade, it would even be thinner and it would be lighter, making it an even more perfect option for backpackers. Again, you do get that long reach blade. It's a 2.2 inch blade. So I do like that a lot. And it's just a very straight forward friction lock uh, folding type knife. You got your nail nick on that side and your nail nick on this side. But again, I just can't get over why they would put a plain edge blade and a serrated blade instead of offering another option with possible, possibly a saw on the other side. Now they do have another new juice model. I believe it's the CS3. Uh, Comes with a corkscrew and scissors and a bottle opener. But again, if you're gonna go that route, you might as well just go to a full featured juice like this Juice S2. Again, it was very cool that you know they sort of mimic the design here. I love the Juice S2. This is one of my favorite smaller pocket knife type tools. You've got the same plain edge blade there. You've got the uh, you know pliers on the inside, which is very handy. Needle nose and regular pliers, wire cutters, not spring loaded, but you know you could carry this on your keys. I think it's a little bit large for keys. You probably want to stick to maybe the Leatherman uh, Micra. There's also a Phillips screwdriver on the inside of one end. There's a couple of flat blades on the other uh, side there, th three different sizes, in fact. And then again, on the outside, you have your uh, plain edge blade, and then you have a bottle opener and actually a pair of scissors on the outside of this one. So again, if you're gonna go the route of the, uh, the B series, you might as well step it up and get something like this S2 or one of their other more full featured multi-tools. So the new Skeletool knives I think are awesome. They're lightweight, they don't take up a whole lot of room in your pocket, very very handy. That 420HC is razor sharp, scalpel sharp. It's very easy to uh, fix back up in the field. Of course you're not going to do real hard use tasks with it. You're probably not going to attack wood with it or anything like that but just for your everyday tasks which is what this knife was built for i think it does a fantastic job it's cool it's got the bottle open around there it's just fun to play with and i think it's built pretty solid just like their skeletool and the rest of their leatherman tools not a huge fan of the juice b2 i do actually have a few juice multi-tools that i really do like but not so much a fan of the B2. I just think it's a waste of space to put a flat edge blade on one side and then a serrated blade on the other side. I would have liked to see a saw. Maybe that would be a cool combo for scouts or camping, something like that. Again, not so highly impressed with that, but definitely impressed with their small knives. So I'm gonna leave a link below to those products on Amazon where you guys can pick one up for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Please share this video to your friends and family on your social media. And as always, make sure you're subscribed for more videos.